surrounding themselves with other nations, okay? Yeah, nations try to make a new world order. You know, uh, what is this thing? It's like you know, it. This is uh, First Maccabees, chapter 1, verse uh, 21. It says, Moreover, King Antiochus, which is Esau, you know, like, brought to his whole kingdom that also be one people in the Americas. It's the same way. Huh? We talk about religious freedom, religious liberty, and all that bullshit. Okay, so basically they make that's it. Going, that's going back during the period of the Greeks, man. Okay. And today, what's going on with what they call multiculturalism? This is all different nations with their different ideologies, you know, and their customs and all that. Basically, Esau is getting his ass whipped by these other nations because what happened over there in, uh, I think, uh, Britain has basically just, uh, one. Hand might basically uh, chop his uh, Edomite head off, you know, and he left him in the damn street and all that. And uh, RT, they did a presentation called uh, Multiculturalism is Felling basically throughout the world because Esau set these nations to surround himself with them. And uh, basically, uh, he's getting beat, beat the hell up by these nations because the nations are waking up to that Esau is a fucking wicked, okay? So basically, uh, this other crack, I forget his name, I, I'll put it in post production if I can. But basically, uh, it relates to the scripture in Ezekiel about the blood running in the streets, okay? Because basically, that cracker, he tied that into the scripture, but he didn't really bring it out. He just, he just like said it because all these nations are around him, and it seems like he's a, he's, uh, he saw as a danger to himself. He got this other cracker named David Ike, and it's, it's like a David Duke. Basically, uh, he says that uh, this is his uh, race, his species, he saw is basically in danger because they basically uh, not populating as they used to, or they not, or they, or they not the uh, they not uh, on, top, on top of the food chain anymore. Okay, they losing their power. Okay. Verse uh, 23. Well, I was sent into her pestilence, talking about America, and blood into her streets. And the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword upon her on every side, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Basically, Esau's kingdom is going down, these nations are going to rise in the history, okay? That's why you don't have uh, mushrooms, you don't like uh, have rice rice, okay? Basically, the most often give power to his people to raise up against the nations in the society, okay? Throughout the whole world. Isaiah 14 and uh, 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief, chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. That's the description because those uh, nations that read that again. Yep, Khan. Those are talking about the other nations, okay? It's Isaiah. against the so called white man to take them down. That's right, because you said how about how these other nations are basically whooping Esau's ass, right? Well, really, once these uh, chief, the, the leaders of those nations, what do you think? Oh, that's going to just basically start that whole nation against nation, you know? And, and you can see that, man, because these other nations, they anytime they say anything about America, they're always cursing America to fuck out, you know? The Russians, Chinese, all right? That uh, before he stepped down in Iran, all right? He had nothing to go. I can't think, uh, Ahmadinejad? No, no, it was the worst. No, I'm saying before before he stepped up, you had Ahmadinejad. That's not, Ahmadinejad is I said I ran by accident? I said I ran. No, I'm talking about I ran. Yeah, it was Ahmadinejad, yeah. <laughs> you can just confuse the hell out of me. I think you're talking about he's just lucky. No, but anyways, um, that, that uh, Ahmadinejad in Iran, he had nothing to say, nothing good to say about America, man. Cursing America out, t basically telling you people that 9-11 was an inside job, you know? Yeah, kind of, uh, generals, uh, commanders, generals in Iran, the military, all they do is talk shit about America, saying, oh, they, what they said about the so-called Jews, that they basically want to ex exterminate them. They want to put them in a furnace and burn them up. And that's related to the old Okay. Well, uh, Jacob and uh, Joseph's house is the house of fire. 
you ever go to like YouTube and like look at the comments, they're always talking shit about America, saying about how you Americans are stupid. And then you got like, even like on like certain video games or like that on the online, people be talking shit on, on Americans all the time on the headsets and everything, you know? Because these Americans are a fucking, uh, or a bunch of dumb people. Man. They're literally, they're literally the dumbest people, you know? This is Isaiah 14 and uh, 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. This Esau's plan is to establish a World War III, but he doesn't know that that's his fucking downfall, man. He's in the process of marriage that's going to be destroyed, okay? Like, and that goes to uh, the Ross Charles Cash Cow in their kingdom, okay? Because they're going to straighten the slavery, man. The Lord is going to be over your head, okay? Why you, like, uh, all jolly and all that? Because it's good to say he's going to uh, basically cause our enterprise to fail. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Jeremiah, yeah. 50 and 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder Ooh. and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? And, and that hammer is, is America, because America has the hegemony or the supreme rule over the earth, okay? Jeremiah 50 and 23. And that ties in with uh, Babylon, okay? Because it says America is falling, is falling, is falling. Okay? How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid the snare for thee, and thou art also taken. O Babylon, thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught. <laughs> I have laid the snare for thee, and thou art also taken. O Babylon, thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught. It says, it says thou was not aware, you've been telling me. Since, since uh, the most high presented, basically, uh, pushed this truth out. Stone with all the goodness, man. And then I know I'm down to the elders that we have now, okay? You've been telling me people year after year, week after week, when our studio lessons, the old people even condemn you, okay? This place is going down, man. It's, it's falling. And it's soon to be destroyed. It says, uh, Revelation 18 to win by way of violence, okay? Because these people, they always talk about fucking peace. Even our people, uh, uh, it says that in Jeremiah about uh, peace, peace, when there is no peace, okay? Because they, it's peace, it's not gonna, uh, bring America down by way of violence, okay? And there's no peace into the wicked. And there's no peace into the wicked. Because if people think they can just all come together as one, you know, and just fucking protest, like that's gonna change any goddamn thing, man. I can say something real quick. Uh, like, I know like a lot of people that say, you know, if, if everyone would just forget racism, the world would be a better place. From birth, man, Esau and Jacob were, were tumbling together in the wall, man. And it's not gonna, it's not in the spirits, all right, to get along, all right. There ain't no putting down, and letting bygones be bygones, all right. Esau did what he did, all right, and you know we want payback. There ain't no fucking uh, remorse for uh, Esau or any other nation. So we're always gonna have a hatred for these other nations. Yeah, we can't even deal with Ishmael. Well, He's a wild ass man. Yeah, it's right. call him a wild ass. So, to jump so as far as what. Uh, Esau, the Most High, made us two manner of people. So we're total opposite. Joseph, Joseph, I mean, we're not, we're not made to get along. We're made to be adverse against each other. Yeah, people can't understand that, you know? Yeah. People can't understand that we're not made to get along, right? We're made, to, we're made to be the opposite. Right, there was there was one nation that was made to be higher than every other nation. That was the nation of Israel. One vessel to honor, um, one vessel to visit. Yeah, yeah. 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 One vessel to honor, one vessel to dishonor, like the brother said. So here Jacob was made to be the vessel of honor. Yep. And the clay got power over the, you know, yep. over the potter. He got no power, and the Most High had mercy on the, our nation.